Hey guys, welcome to another episode of our soup series. The fall is the absolute best time to enjoy a nice steaming hot bowl of soup. And today's recipe is oh so yummy. It's actually my chicken and corn soup. And it's a recipe that one of my oldest friends used to always make for me when I was feeling under the weather. It's super, super comforting and super, super easy to make. For this recipe and a whole lot more great soup recipes, you should definitely check out my brand new Soups on ebook. All of the details are in the description box below, so you can check those out there. And without further ado, let's get to some chicken and corn soup. This recipe really could not be simpler. It all starts with a big soup pot on the stove. To that, I'm going to add some chicken broth some cooked shredded chicken. This is actually a perfect way to use leftover chicken or just buy one of those rotisserie chickens from the grocery store and pick it apart. I'm also going to be adding some corn kernels and some creamed corn. I love the texture of creamed corn, but I also love the bite of the corn kernels. What's great about this soup is that the balance of savory sweet is just right. To balance out all of those flavors, I'm adding just a splash of soy sauce and a teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. I'm going to bring this mixture to a boil, reduce my heat to medium, and let it simmer for 10 or 15 minutes. Once the soup has finished simmering, we are going to thicken it up with a traditional cornstarch slurry. All I've got is a tablespoon of cornstarch, and I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that, give it a whisk, and then pour it into my soup. As I stir it, it's going to thicken up and become nice and rich and delicious. Then to add even more richness and protein to this soup, we are also going to stir in two beaten eggs. I like to pour them into the hot soup and then use a stir stick to stir them in so they create nice, beautiful egg ribbons. And then I just stir in some freshly chopped green onion for color and this soup is ready to be enjoyed. This yumminess is best served steaming hot and it's got like a nice balance of sweetness and saltiness and savory goodness that I think you're going to love. I really hope you'll give this recipe a try and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo because you know I love seeing your creations. Keep in mind that this recipe plus lots of other wonderful soup recipes are available in my brand new ebook, so take a look for them. All of the details are in the description box below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more soup deliciousness where this came from. And now for a bowl of soup, if you'll excuse me. 